welcome back to my channel this video is gonna be all about my favorites and just a couple fails um, some products that I've been loving recently some uh, makeup items hair care perfume you know stuff like that some favorites and some fails um, uh, some of them are rediscovered items from my collection and some items are brand new to me if you're interested in this video if you want to see what I've been loving recently what I've been using a lot <laughs> please keep on watching and uh, if you're not subscribed I hope you do consider subscribing please give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoy it and uh, if you find it helpful at all before we get started I want you to meet my newest my littlest little baby this is Mia Mia hi Mia Mia we got her couple days ago it's been six days now she is nine weeks old she is absolutely amazing we love her huh boo boo yeah yeah we need some kisses oh somebody's yawning yeah <laughs> she's a little furball i call her my doofus there she is yeah yeah she's my uh mother's day gift um, it's, it's, it's been a long time. We've been thinking about getting a dog forever. She's a mini Australian Shepherd. Um, and I couldn't decide what I wanted to get for a dog. And then this little puppy. Whoa, you made a burp. Yeah. All right, let's go ahead and get into the favorites. Um, the first product I want to talk about is a perfume and it's by uh, Dossier. Uh, they reached out to me recently and then they asked me if I would be interested in uh, collaborating with them. They're going to send me a perfume. They're going to send me a coupon code that you guys can use if you would like to order from their website. I'll have the coupon code in the description box and the link to their website. I don't make any um, percentage or anything like that if you do use my code it's just for you um what i did get from them was a, a free perfume and i got to choose the perfume that i really wanted um what dossier is is a um a designer quality perfumes they're paraben free they're vegan cruelty free um there's no markups in their you know they make the perfume and then they sell it without any markup, no middleman, no nothing. Um, they have perfumes that are inspired by luxury brands. Um, they have some by uh, Le Labo. They have some uh, YSL. Um, the one that I picked is a inspired by Juliette Has a Gun, not a perfume. If you guys watch my channel, if you watch my empties, you know that I do have a lot of empties. Juliette has gone not a perfume i i just couldn't bring myself to buy the full size perfume of that so when they reached out to me and i was able to look at the list of perfumes that they have i picked out the musky musk which is inspired by uh, juliette has the gun um so i'll show you the box that they send it to me so this is the box basically it has the perfume in it and then my box came with the little sample um they're going away with the little samples a little tiny sample the reason they used to send these or were sending these is because you can try the perfume if you really like it then you can use the full size if you don't like it you can return it they're still offering free you know returns uh if you're not satisfied so if you're not satisfied with the perfume you can go ahead and return it um and then they donate the perfumes they don't go wasted they don't create much waste and that's the reason that they're going away with this they don't want to create that much waste so they're getting away with the little samples and then the box comes with the little card it tells you about the perfume the top notes middle notes and bottom of the base notes and then if it's inspired by a luxury perfume it tells you which one it's inspired by and then it tells you if you don't like it you can just return it um it's 50 ml the size is 50 ml which is 1.7 fluid ounce and oh my god musky musk smells exactly like juliet has a gun i couldn't be any happier i absolutely love it i do really like the bottle too it's glass it's very sleek it's just plain white with the writing on it the name of the perfume the brand the notes on top and look at this magnetic oh couldn't be any more satisfa satisfactory um anyway thank you so much dossier for sending this for review purposes and for sharing my thoughts about it um if you're interested their website they're they they usually have deals going on um you get a certain amount of discount if you order three or more if you order three you get discount you order four you get a bigger discount and if you order five you get even a bigger discount 
Their perfume start at $29. I think the most expensive one I saw on there was a $49. Um, it's probably one that's inspired by Le Labo or maybe Tom Ford. I can't remember exactly. Currently, Musky Musk is not available on the website. They actually sent it to me, I think I'm gonna say about two weeks ago, um, but I wasn't feeling well. And then we went out of town uh, for three days, four days. We went to Grand Canyon and then we picked up little Mia. So I wasn't able to share my thoughts about it until today. Um, again, thank you so much Rosier for sending this to me. I couldn't be happier. I absolutely love the smell. I love that it's cruelty free. All of the perfumes are cruelty free and uh, paraben free so that's pretty amazing and they're 100% natural um, check them out I'm sure you'll find the perfume that you really like um, that's inspired by whatever luxury perfume that you like or you can just discover a new perfume there's nothing more exciting than that I love it <laughs> now let's talk about other beauty favorites for skincare um, a couple products that I have just been really really loving lately um, one of them is the Pixi Glow Tonic, the exfoliating toner. I believe this is an AHA. Oh no, sorry, it's glycolic acid. It's 5% glycolic acid. Um, my skin was getting like kind of like texture and all that. Uh, like I said, we went to the Grand Canyon and my skin got, like the weather is just so different than here in Southern California. It was super dry. Um, it was hot, but it was super dry hardly any humidity um so it, there was like my skin just felt like it needed something um so i went back to try to use in this product because i was using a different toner before and i felt like it was just doing nothing um but i i started using this again and i felt kind of like within three or four days my skin is getting back to its usual self um it's accepting the products that i apply on it a lot better so i went back to using that pixie product and i do really like it um i've only used the the glycolic one the glow tonic from pixie like i've only received it as a sample either from ipsy or maybe just ipsy i do need to go ahead and buy the full size of this once i go through i do like to finish up some products that i have in my collection so once i go through the other toners that i have which i think i only have two more left um i will just start buying this guy and i won't buy any other smaller ones or anything else um the other skincare product that i have been loving again and i think it's because my skin just going through that stage super dry it really needs some help is the your uh, like the personalized skincare hydration serum and this is squalene the ingredients is just squalene again um your personalized skincare gifted this to me and i made a video about it a while back um i out of all of their products this is the one product that i'm just absolutely loving at this time it's giving me the hydration that my skin is dying for i'm still using their other products especially the cleanser and um the daily moisturizer i'm actually almost done with that one um, but this product like if i were to pick a favorite out of everything um this one product and it's just a favorite for me right now again because my skin really is needing it i would highly recommend it you can check out my previous video about it um and if you don't want to purchase from them i do know that other brands do have squalane like for example biosance i know they sell squalane um but this is the one that i've tried that i really 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 enjoyed so there's that one um another product and this was kind of like i missed it i had i had a full size of this I used it up and then I am um, was trying to go through other nighttime serums and it's the Honeymoon Glow by Pharmacy. Um, I had picked up the backup of this uh, around the holidays because they had the gift set but I haven't cracked into it yet and I'm like okay I really I really really miss it um, and of course in my collection I had a little tiny sample um, so I'm using the sample now and when I finish the sample I will go ahead and crack open the full size I was just trying to get as many products out of my collection as I can and I do have a lot of little deluxe size samples so I missed that product I know I it was empty I think last month maybe it was in March February or March I finished the full size that I have and I purchased the backup because I knew that I was gonna need it and now here we are we're using the sample and then we're gonna start using the full size pretty darn soon okay now that we talked about perfume we talked about skincare let's talk about makeup there's so much like 
I did not realize I had so many makeup favorites until I said, and I was like, okay, I know I've been loving this. I've been loving this. I've been loving this. Like, this is what I'm reaching for when I just want to sit down and do my makeup. Um, like, easy, quick. I know it works. I really like it. Let's do it. I guess um, I don't have any primers or I guess I don't have any setting sprays either, but hey, whatever. I usually, for primer, I usually use like, I do have a couple favorite primers, but I just usually use something that I have. So I didn't have like a favorite primer that I wanted to share with you. But for foundations, I have a couple foundations. Um, Nude Sticks, the Tinted Cover Foundation. Oh, guys, I'm absolutely obsessed with this all over again. Um, so I took this one with me when we went uh, to the Grand Canyon. Um, I was like, okay, I know we're going to go out to nice dinners and I don't want to wear makeup throughout the day. So this will be really quick to use before going out to dinner. Um, I just couple pumps, apply it with a, usually with a brush, a buffing brush. I have been using this brush with it. This is by It Cosmetics. I think it's, yeah, It Brushes for Ulta and this is the number 115. I just love it with this brush. It's so easy to use. Put it on with or without a primer. Moisturize some, sometimes is fine. Just a moisturizer under it. Just buff it out and then I apply the concealer which I'm going to share the two concealers that were just amazing. Super easy to use. They went really well with this. I love it. I absolutely love it. And the reason I rediscovered it is, you know, I was not having enough time to put on my makeup and I put it in a project because it was easy to use i'd reach for it one day and now i'm like okay i just i can't put it down i have been using it a lot the other foundation that i am really loving and it's actually new and new to me too um is by fenty beauty and this is the east drop blurring skin tint foundation i got this during the like the recent sephora sale and i have the shade seven i think shade seven I'm sure it's a, yeah, I have the shade seven. Um, when I tried a sample of their regular foundation, like the first one that they came out with, um, I was closest match to shade 210. Um, so they recommended shade seven for that. It doesn't really matter because this is just, it could be just a tint. It could be just like you apply it and you're good or you can build it up. So you can go up to a medium. I haven't tried it as medium. Again, I've been trying to like, I don't have enough time to wear a full face of makeup and with something like this it's super easy to use it looks beautiful on and then it lasts for a really long time so I've been loving this guy as well and then the last foundation that I have been loving and again of course it's on a project it's uh, the Bobbi Brown Skin Longwear Weightless Foundation I kind of don't want to keep using it in the project because I love it so much and I think this is like $68 I know I when I sat down I was like crap most of the items that i'm absolutely loving are high-end products there are a few drugstore products um but most of them are you know high-end products but hey that's the reality that's usually what i try so i i, I don't want to you don't want to keep using it because i'm sad when it's gonna run out i'm gonna have to repurchase it um i can see like i'm probably down to here with it can you even see that I'm, I'm so close to finishing it but oh, it looks stunning on the skin I love how it wears I love how it looks on my skin I love that it's a medium coverage it can go up to a full coverage but I don't usually apply it as a full coverage it's super easy to blend with a sponge beautiful I love it now for a foundation fail and it's not really a fail it's not the foundation's fault it just did not work for me personally for two reasons reason number one the shade was too dark reason number two it even oxidized even more it turned like five shades darker um, and that's a pretty vulgar I'm so sad I wanted this foundation for so long and when I finally found it at TJ Maxx I picked it up, but it doesn't even work for me. Um, it's okay. I am going to go ahead and send it to my friend because she's a little bit darker than me. So I'm going to send it to her and hopefully she can use it. It can work for her. But on me, it was just too dark. I couldn't even wear it long enough to see how it works because it's just too dark. I couldn't salvage how dark it was on me. So this guy is basically a fail. And that's okay. We have lots of other foundations that work for me. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and talk about a couple powders. Um, I do wanna apologize in advance. 
about this one, this specific one, but I just have to, I have to. I purchased it so long ago, I've used it in projects, I've mentioned it here and there in Shop My Stash, but I've never raved about how amazing this product is. And it's time. Uh, I just need to tell you about it. And I have a justification for why I'm telling you this. It's La Prairie. It's the La Prairie powder, the Skin Caviar powder, Skin Caviar Loose Powder by La Prairie. You're going to be like, Rania, this is a $220 powder. And I hear you. It's very expensive. But you get 40 grams in here. 40. And then when you buy this guy, you get the travel one, which is 10 grams, the same shade. And then like you can refill this guy for travel too. So you're getting 50 grams of product for $220. You break it down, that's $55 for 10 grams, which is the standard, like if you buy a powder, um, like I remember the Hourglass uh, Veil Powder, the Loose Veil Powder, it was 10 grams, maybe it was a, a little bit less, maybe nine grams, and it was over $50. Or like if you talk about uh, Tatcha powder, like yes, I understand these are high-end powders, but the price kind of is justifiable. It's probably, I think it's this one, I did the math way back when, when I purchased this guy, it ended up being a little bit cheaper per gram than the Hourglass one. Um, this is beautiful. It is absolutely beautiful and that's what I traveled with too. I took it with me um, I love it to set under my eye and to set my face Typically, I have to use two different powders for under the eye and then for the face because the shade just too You know too different or I need something a little bit more um, Blurring under the eye or something, you know, I usually have to use two different powders But with this one I can set under my eye and I can set my face and it looks absolutely stunning I do have the shade translucent too and that's all I'm gonna say about it This is a really nice product if you can or if you want to splurge on yourself give it a shot um, You can always you know, I, I wouldn't say you can take it back. I don't usually like to take things back, but if it doesn't work you know, or you just go to the La Prairie stand and they'll try it on for you and you'll see for yourself how amazing it is. I do really, really like it. Now, I have a couple more powders. I do, well, I love all makeup. <laughs> um, another powder that I really, really like and then I was thinking like, okay, what is the closest thing in my collection that I can compare it to? And this is by Kosas. Um, this is the shade Feathery. And this is the Cloud Set. Um, powder. Um, I got mine just a couple weeks before the Sephora sale because it was in stock, out of stock, in stock, out of stock. So as soon as it came back in stock, I purchased it. Um, this guy is so fine. It's absolutely beautiful. I don't like it to set under my eye. I tried it under my eye and my concealer crease. It could have been just the concealer that I use. It just, you know, was not a, like a self-setting kind of concealer. Um, so I don't like it under my eye, but I like it to set my, my whole face. If you have dry skin, normal skin, you would love this. If you have oily skin, this might not be enough for you. But the closest thing in my collection to that powder is the CoverGirl powders. Those, uh, clean, fresh powders by CoverGirl. And I have two shades because I use one under my eye and one for all over my face. Um, 110 porcelain I use under my eye and 120 fair I use all over the face. Um, they have a couple shades of this, the both the Kosas and the CoverGirl, but they have that very similar like effect and texture. They're just pretty much invisible. They have they feel a little bit thicker, but when you apply them on the skin, they're just pretty much invisible. Not as invisible as the Coast has, but very, very similar. Um, so, you know, alternatives if you can't get your hands on the Coast has. With the Coast has, I feel like you can go, you can't go too wrong with a shade. Like if you're unsure between two shades, you can't go too wrong unless you go like really deep or really light um, because it is so invisible. And I feel like the same with these. Um, like I could probably go, get away with using one of the two shades either all over my face, you know, and it wouldn't be such a big deal, but I felt like I needed to be a little extra and I got two shades. Uh, one more powder that I am loving again. And the reason I knew I absolutely live, love this powder is because during Sephora sale, um, I picked up a lighter shade that I could use most of the year because this is a little bit too dark. And I'm talking about the Laura Geller 
Candle Glow Sheer Perfecting Powder. I have the shade too. That's the one shade that I do have and I've been using. I usually like to use it when I'm a little tan. I use this guy as a finishing powder. It is so pretty. Thinking between this guy and the Hourglass the Luminous Light Powder, I think I might prefer this one better for a finishing powder, which is weird because I thought that was like my holy grail best finishing powder ever. But I think I like this one better. Like better enough that I have to pick up a lighter shade that I could use when I'm super light. It is such a beautiful powder. I did use it today and I did use the shade too because the foundation that I'm wearing is a little bit darker. Um, I didn't crack into shade one yet and I already have a little bit of tan. I was out in the sun for a little bit and oh, it's so pretty. It is super fine. It is luminous. It gives that healthy, dewy, glow look to the skin, but not as uh, glowy as the Hourglass. Like the Hourglass, you can get away with using it as a highlighter if you really want a super subtle highlight. You could use it as a highlighter. With this one, no, this is a definitely a powder. Um, I do use the Hourglass all over my face too, and I still love it. But if I had to pick between the two, which I had to, I traveled with this one over the Hourglass. So there you go. Okay, moving right along. I do have a lot. I have a lot of products to talk about. I've never filmed the favorites video and it was kind of like, and I love this, and I love this, and I love this, and I want to tell you about this and this. For concealers, I have two here that, um, again, they're just super easy to use. One is uh, by Milani and this is the Conceal and Perfect concealer and I have the shade 125 and the other one is by NARS and this is the Radiant Creamy Concealer and I have the shade Custard. Um, both of these, I took both of these with me on uh, travel and I have been using them both. One of them is on a project, so I have been using it and then this one I just was like, okay I need a concealer that's not super fussy, that's not cakey, that's not super full coverage that I could use with just a tinted moisturizer and I would be good. Um, and I it was the Milani one. I do like it with both a sponge and I do really like it with a brush as well. Um, the same with the NARS. I do really like both of them and I'm really happy to be using both of them. Um, I, let's talk about a um, like bronzers kind of thing. <laughs> All right, you guys, you do know my obsession with the Nude Sticks uh, Bondi Bay. Like this guy i i dug everything out i do still have some of it i didn't finish all of it um the ones i put in a compact it's getting a little bit harder to use it's drying out faster than it would have if it was in here and that's completely fine because now i have a new backup uh yeah like yeah i have a backup a brand new one um, so obviously it's a favorite. I haven't even used it yet. I'm savoring it. I'm trying to use as much of the other one as much as I can before I crack into the new one. I love it. And I've talked about it. I've beat that thing up to death on my channel. I've talked about it a lot. It's one of my favorite products, um, cream bronzer products. Uh, I do like the one by Huda Beauty, but I like this one better. It's creamy, it's easy to blend, it's a little bit lighter, not as pigmented, so it's a lot easier to use. I do like it. This is definitely a favorite, and I'm not going to talk about the Huda because it's not in my favorites, but I do like it. Okay, let's talk about... what else do I have over here? Um, I do have more, uh, kind of like a contour palette. Contour palette, it's called a contour palette, but it's not really just contour. Uh, it's a full face palette. Okay. <sighs> I have a thing for face palettes. We all know this. I absolutely love face palettes. And I love Smashbox face palettes. Um, my favorite one of them is still the Cali Contour, their original. It's still my absolute favorite. I love everything in this palette. I love the contour shade, I love the bronzer shade, I love the blush, I love the highlight, I love the setting powder. Every single thing in this palette I can use and I do love, absolutely love. I rediscovered this when I was uh, getting ready for my photo shoot because I was doing my own makeup for that photo shoot and um, kept thinking like, okay, what am I gonna use for bronzer? What am I gonna use for this? What am I gonna use for this? This was the one palette that I used for everything. Bronzer, setting, highlight, blush, everything. It just works beautifully. 
it's perfect. I love it. And I re I'm so happy I rediscovered that one. Um, another couple kind of like a bronzer blush palette is the Jaclyn Hill Cosmetics. Um, this is one of, it's new. This is the Warm Flush Golden Goddess Duo. The mirror is amazing. It's easy, like if you want to travel with it, you don't need to take another mirror. You just have this. The bronzer in here and the blush, they're so beautiful. The formula is really, really nice and they're not like flat matte. They're, they're kind of like satiny, but not super satiny. They're beautiful. I am wearing the bronzer today um, with the Bondi Bay, of course. Um, and the blush is just so glowy, so beautiful. It's not like shimmery, highlighty, glowy. It just looks healthy. I do really like it. I just hate how bulky it is. Like this is bulky. I don't like that, but that's fine. All right, I have a couple blushes that I wanna talk about. And again, they were kind of like rediscoveries when I was trying to figure out what am I gonna wear at, for my photo shoot. Um, I just pulled my favorite products out of my collection and I kept going through them um, and these were like my contenders uh, and I'm wearing this one today I traveled with this one as well this is by Melt Cosmetics and this is the blush in Honey Thief so beautiful the formula is amazing you need this it's not that expensive I think it's like 20 something dollars oh my god it is beautiful I love the formula it's so soft and the color is just perfect perfect can you see it yeah super subtle but it's stunning on the skin the other blush that i do really really like and i do need to use it a little bit more is by persona and this is a super blush in the shade is georgia again there's that peachy shade this is a little bit more bright or brighter it's this one over here it's a little bit brighter than the Honey Thief shade, but oh my god, it's so pretty. And the formula is amazing. Now they have uh, cream uh, bronzers. Mm -hmm. I gotta try them. And then the last blush I want to talk about is by M Cosmetics, and this is Heaven's Glow Faded Clementine. Um, I wanted to try this for the longest time. Again, that bulky packaging. It's like the one thing I don't like about it. Like, look how big this guy is. But the product itself is so pretty. This is a little bit more glowy. Definitely more glowy than the other two blushes. But the shade is just beautiful. It is so pretty. I absolutely love it. And the formula is pretty nice too. So these blushes have been kind of like my go-to's that's what I'm reaching for now for um, I guess we'll talk about eyeshadow I, I, I it's pretty simple for eyeshadow when I thought about like okay what can I what is the one thing I can reach for in just quick easy and gorgeous the Wayne Goss palette this is the luxury eye palette by Wayne Goss and the, this is the first one, the Imperial Topaz. This is so basic, but so amazing. I love the formula. I love all the shades in here. Um, this one shade over here, which is kind of like a shimmery uh, shade. What, are, what does he call it? He calls it shade number 06. It's really pretty as a highlight as well. It reminds me a lot of the Fenty um, glow, whatever they're called, um, kind of like a topper shade. There it is. I could use it as a highlight. I could use it all over the lid. It's really, really beautiful. The black in here is amazing. Again, the formula, everything about this palette is amazing. And I'm really happy with it. I know it's neutrals, but when it's good, it's good. There is one more eyeshadow that I do really love like absolutely love I've been obsessed with recently I wore it pretty much every day just this with nothing else and this is by MAC Cosmetics this is the pro long wear paint pot and this is in the shade bougie I've made a dent in this guy like I've made a dent oh stunning I do really like it I'll show you the brush that I've been using it with it's this one this is by uh, Luxie and this was the um, good night. It says good night, 110. The shade is 110. I can't remember what the collection was. DC and 
WBEI. I don't know, I can't remember what it is, but I'll just pick up that shade, apply it all over my lid, concentrating it on the lid, and then whatever's left on the brush, I'll just wing it out a little and like buff it. Oh my god, it's so pretty, and that would be the only thing I would use on my uh, on my lid. And it lasts, it does not crease, and like my crease or anything, it's absolutely stunning. Now a fail, I do have another fail, and it's also the MAC Pro Long Wear uh, Paint Pop, but this is the shade Babe and Charms. I was so sad this guy did not work. Uh, for me, I tried to use it in multiple occasions. Um, I do have it in like, I have the the powder highlight by MAC. This is the same shade, just in powder, and I do have the um, the eyeshadow single that came out with a couple years ago. But this is, okay, it's beautiful, but it's like too creamy if you know if you want to use a, a cream shadow unless i plan on setting it which is kind of like defeats the purpose of ease of use this is too creamy like it moved all over it never really set kind of like the bougie shade set it never really set i just felt like it went everywhere it is a beautiful color don't get me wrong it's absolutely stunning um but as a product that the way I wanted to use it just was a little bit of a fail for me. Um, I think I am going to go ahead and return it. Again, I don't like to return stuff, but it's not, it's, it, it did not work for me and I, I don't know how to make it work. I don't want to have to top it with another shade. So I guess that's how I can make it work, but I don't want to. Um, let's talk about, there's only a few products left makeup wise, and then we'll talk about, um, hair products. Uh, makeup products. I do have for mascara. I rediscovered those two do duos, and I I was using these a long time ago, and then I started using the Pat McGrath Fetish Eyes, topped with the Mac Extended Giga Black Giga Black Lash something. Um, but then I went back to these two. This is the Essence Lash Princess, the False Effect False Lash Effect Mascara and the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. Both of these layered, I would go in with the Too Faced first and then I'll go in with the Essence. Beautiful lashes, that's what I have on today. Um, so I rediscovered that combo and I do really like it. Might have to crack open a new one of the Essence ones starting to dry out. Um, I do have a couple of highlighters. So we'll talk about these and then we'll talk about brows and lips. For highlighters. IBY highlighter in the shade is Private Jet. I believe this came in Ipsy. Oh my god, this highlighter is so beautiful. That's the highlighter that I used mm, the whole time we were on our little getaway vacation. It is so pretty. It's absolutely stunning. Beautiful. I love the color. I love the formula. I love everything about it. I do really, really like this one. There's a there's a new one, a new discovery to me, and this has been out for a little bit. When it first came out, I was like, oh my God, I would never. But then I saw it at Sephora during their sale, and I was able to like swatch it, not really swatch it, but you know, on a tissue and swatch it. And I had to pick it up. This is the shade, the Anastasia Beverly Hills, and the shade is iced out. Oh, this is so pretty, you guys. I, I almost did not want to like dip my brush in it because the embossment is also so pretty. There it is. Uh, can I show you the spot where I dipped my brush? It's right over here. It's a little bit worn down a, there. Um, it reminded me a lot of the one highlighter by uh, Melt Cosmetics. That one was sold out, um, so I picked up this one instead. I can't remember what it's called, what the shade is called. They're very, very similar in tone. Um, I'll show it to you. I thought, and I don't even reach for highlighters like this. That's the crazy part. I was like, that's why I was like, when it came out, I was like, I'm definitely passing. But then I tried it. Ooh, it's so pretty. I'm wearing it today. Oh my God, it's beautiful. I'm really happy that I actually gave it a chance in store and I tried it and I picked it up. There's one more highlighter. Yes, this was sent to me by my friend Valerie. Um, I was really interested in the brand, the RMS Beauty brand, and but I just never bought anything from them. So she sent me this, and this was a while ago, and I tried it a while ago, but I still love it. This is in the shade Magic Luminizer. It's cream, right? It's in a pot. 
a pot pot yeah it's in a pot and when I think about cream highlighters I don't think about them as being like really bam in your face highlighters until I tried this guy whoo this is blinding let me do a nice swatch for you oh my god it's so pretty the shade is so pretty the way that it sits on the skin and kind of like sets is so beautiful it doesn't stay like tacky where like your hair will get stuck in it but no it sets and it sets beautifully so i'm really happy to be using this guy Ugh, i gotta try a couple more products by rms now but this is the only one i have this is the only product i've tried by them and it's i i, I just love it okay let us talk about brows this is a newer product and i was on a no buy for brows like I was like okay I'm not gonna buy anything brows in 2021 until I use up what I have but then this came out actually the reason I was interested in this one because I saw all the hype that the Anastasia like the clear one got and I wanted that but it was sold out during the sale this one came in stock for like half an hour uh, this is Kosas and this is Air Brow, Air Brow Fluff and Hole Treatment Gel. Um, I have a lot of brow hairs. I've mentioned that before. So using like a tinted brow gel, I do like to use them because some days I just don't want to bother filling in my brows. I'll just use tinted brow gel. But this one, it was clear and I didn't have to use a, you know, a brow pencil. Oh, I love it. My brows stay in place. Oh. It's not like super crunchy where I'm like, I touch them, I'm like, ugh, crunchy. No, they're they're just held in place. It's really nice to use. I The one thing I don't like so much is the spoolie does not pick up a lot of product. So I have to keep the bin back in and going in. But that's pretty simple. I don't mind doing that. I have been using it. And then the reason I started using it is because I'm running really low on the Glossier one that I have been using. Let's talk about lip products and that will be it for my for makeup. Okay, <laughs> you guys are gonna think I'm nuts because these products are pretty much very, very, very similar. And I do wanna do some swatches. So let me clean my hand first. Again, if you watch my channel, if you watch my project pan videos, you know, lip glosses are my go-to. I have been going through a lot of lip glosses. I love wearing them. I kind of like use them kind of like as a treatment thing. So instead of applying like a lip mask or lip treatment I use a lip gloss some lip glosses are better than others and I do have one kind of fail not totally but a fail um the tower 28 lip glosses and I finished one and I'm almost done with this one I have it upside down because I do want to use every single part of it those lip glosses are super hydrating they're even more hydrating than like a chapstick or whatever lip thing is I love them definitely favorites um, I they also have the uh, you know the milky ones this is in the shade cashew oh it's so pretty I love it but I also have a couple more that are very very similar <laughs> uh, the latest one I picked up is by Kaja and I picked this guy up around yeah I picked it up during Sephora's uh, sale this is in the shade Honey Drizzle. Oh, I gotta show you this guy. The applicator on it is pretty cool, pretty unique. It's kind of like a like little curved so you can get the product. I do want to swatch it. This is the lighter one of all three of them, like lighter in shade. But their formula, all of these, the formula is very similar. I think the Tower 28 is a little bit less sticky. Although they're not sticky, but a little less sticky. Um... The Maybelline one, the lifter glosses, I like all of the shades that I do have, but this one is probably one of the favorites. This is the shade Stone. Oh, and here's the Kaja one. Let me go ahead and swatch Stone right next to it. Um, Kaja's the lightest in shade, but they're all like the same. I feel like they're the same formula, very similar formulas. Here's the Maybelline one. So you can see just a tiny smidge darker. And the Tower 28 shade Cashew is probably one of my favorites out of all three. It's, um again, it's just less, they're not sticky, but it is less sticky. <laughs> and here it is. Okay, they're all like, okay, Ronnie, are you crazy? They're all the same shade. 
pretty much almost the same shade. I do love all three of them and I do rotate between all three of them. Now one lip kind of fail um, is the Ilia. This is the shade Tahiti and these are called the Balmy Gloss Tinted Lip Oil. You know, when I think about a lip oil, I think that's going to be super hydrating. My lips were so cracked at the Grand Canyon and dry and, you know, like I needed overly moisturized, some insane moisturizer. I kept using this product and it was not doing it. Um, the shade is really pretty. I would use it, but I would not use it as like a like a moisturizing lip oil. I felt like maybe it even dried my lips a little bit more. The applicator kind of blows. It's so small. Uh, granted, this is a sample, so I have to dip in a couple times. Don't get me wrong, I'm still gonna finish it because it's pretty, but it's not what I thought it was gonna be. Here it is swatched over here. Like the shade is really beautiful. The formula is really nice, but it's not a lip oil. It's not a hydrating, it's not very, it doesn't do anything for the lips except Okay, they're not tacky, um, they have a little bit of a color to them, but that's about it. So, if I were to use a product, you know, like if I'm going to spend the money and get a lip oil like this, I would rather spend the money and buy the Tower 28 ones, they're so, or the Kaja ones, they're so much cheaper, or even the Maybelline ones from Walmart, they're so much cheaper. They're, they do more for my lips than this guy did, is basically what I'm trying to say. Okay, this is it for makeup. So just a couple more, a couple uh, hair favorites, and then we'll end this video. Again, I'm trying to embrace my grays. I'm 35, and I've been coloring my hair. I started getting gray hair when I was like 15, maybe 16. So I've been coloring my hair for a while, trying to cover the grays, and it got to the point where I have to do it pretty much every two weeks, and I'm just tired of it. So at this point, I'm like, we'll just let the gray grow. At some point, maybe I'll color my hair. But for now, honestly, I don't care. I don't mind it personally. It's more my husband's like, mm, your grays are starting to show. It is what it is. I'm at that point where like, hey, it is what it is. And I'm trying to embrace the curly hair. My hair used to be super curly and then straight again and all that. It's kind of like... I'm tired. I don't want to damage my hair. I like my hair long. So I've been doing stuff to kind of help with that situation. One of my favorite products I have been using is the Wella Fusion Plex. I've talked about this. Oh, I dropped it. I've talked about this guy before. And this one is empty. Uh, I do have a backup, but it's completely empty. Ah! It was on the shower. Damn it. Now I spilled on my shirt. Um, it's the hair mask part. I, I do use the conditioner too and I've used their shampoo but the hair mask really does great job at moisturizing the hair. Um, kind of like bringing it back from the dead. Another hair mask that I do really like and I have used a couple of and I finally got it back up is the Shea Moisture Jama Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strengthen and Restore Treatment Mask. An amazing product. The, the bigger size, like the jar size, has been sold out from Ulta for the longest time. I haven't been able to get my hands on it, but I do still buy the little pouches. Like this little thing would last me maybe three or four washes, three or four like treatments. Um, it's, it's a really good product, especially for, you know, like really dry, um, bringing, bringing the hair back to life, back from being so strained and so damaged. Do love that guy. Two more products by Cantu. I've never heard, like I didn't, like I, I've heard of Cantu a long time ago and then I tried to get back into curly routine and then I didn't, but I, I had purchased this guy. This is the leave-in conditioning repair cream and I bought the big guy. This guy is amazing. I do use it as a, uh, not just a, a leave-in conditioner, but kind of like a curling cream. I do really, really like it and I would highly, highly recommend it. Um, I usually use that one and then I would, the last step would be in my hair care thing if I'm leaving it curly would be the Curl Smith Curl Defining Styling Souffle. Um, I tried this one years ago but it used to be in a jar. They did not have the big size. Now they have this big size which I'm really happy about. Um, I do really like this guy. It's um, you know, it's really good at like creating that, um, what do they call it, the crunchy cast and then you scrunch it out, scrunch out the crunch. 
Is that what you say? What do they say for curly? The curly lingo? I don't know. I'm still like trying to get back into my curly hair routine. But this guy is pretty amazing. I do like their products. Most of the products I've tried from uh, Carl Smith, I do really, really like. I'm currently trying out their protein products. I do really like them as well. So I would highly recommend this one if you use a product like that. Well, that was a long video, but I had a lot of products to share with you. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, let me know. I wouldn't mind doing these every season, almost, or whenever I have some favorites that I have to share with you guys. Um, I Again, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Please consider subscribing if you're not subscribed already. And if you're interested in Dossier, check out my description box. I'll have the link to their website and I'll have the coupon code. Um, if you guys want to order, save some money, go ahead and check that out. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.